it, it is so interesting. We're talking with Lisa Graves, the executive director of the Center for Media and Democracy, who has wrote and coordinated a brilliant series that I encourage you all to take a look at on thenation.com about Pete Peterson's deficit scaremongering industry, really. And Lisa, there are a number of different organizational fronts that Peterson operates through in order to convince people that if we don't cut Social Security, which of course by law cannot contribute to the debt and is self-sustaining because it has its own funding stream, then we will go broke. What are, you mentioned fix the debt. Are there any other front groups that people should identify as AstroTurf organizations for billionaire Pete Peterson? Well, you know, it's a bit murky in part because there just is not adequate disclosure of how much money is being spent on any given effort. A number of these groups are nonprofits that keep their donors secret. Here's what we do know, though. We know that Pete Peterson himself has pledged to spend $1 billion uh, through his nonprofit uh, charity, the Pete Peterson, Peter G. Peter Peterson Foundation. Um, and we know that he's also spent some money on some of these efforts, including uh, this uh, newspaper, I, is the term I suppose is, is, is uh, technically correct, called the Fiscal Times. Um, but we know that uh, he has funded Fix the Debt, at least uh, that's what the uh, news has reported, uh, with at least five million dollars. Um, we have no idea um, how much money he has spent on these, these other groups. Uh, if any, we don't know how the money is being filtered or how much of a shell game is being played among these groups. Here's what we do know. We know that um, Fix the Debt is a project of the Committee for Responsible Federal Budget. Um, that, um, that's a group, it's called CF, CRFB. Um, it uh, has um, a number of connections to Peterson, including uh, the fact that he's been on its board. Um, and we know that um, they have a number of either uh, children organizations or sisters or brothers. It's not clear what this real family of groups is, but it includes the Moment of Truth group, which is where Alan Simpson and Erskine Bowles make their pronouncements. We know that it includes um, the Committee for Economic Development, something called the Concord Coalition, and, um, and then there are other little spawn of some of these operations. So one of the spawn is of uh, Fix the Debt is uh, the Can Kicks Back. We were really shocked, quite frankly, to see a, a number of principals involved in these efforts, including Alan Simpson, and I use the word principles with an E, obviously, or uh, with a with an you know an A, pardon me, and not an E, because uh, I don't think this is a very principled campaign at all. But Alan Simpson talked about the Can Kicks Back as if it was just a youth group that popped up uh, to fight the debt. In fact, it's housed in the same offices, the same building um, as uh, as Fix the Debt. Um, and you know, no, I have to say, as someone no, who's still paying my student loans, it's shocking to think that. Uh, they're really trying to pretend like there are all these college students who are more concerned about the future deficit than the default on their own student loans in this terrible economy that would be made worse if the Simpson Bulls uh, fix the debt plan were adopted. Lisa, that appears to be their favorite trope that somehow spending on the old and the disabled is preventing us from investing in our young people. Of course, we know that if we were sharing the gains, of our economy and our productivity across the economy and investing in our, we, we would have more than enough to invest in our young people to make sure that, that wages were growing. And of course, our young will need Social Security and Medicare more because of the decline of private pensions and insecurity in today's economy. Lisa, I, I, got it, I have to tell all of our listeners and all of our viewers that uh, they need to check out this series in on The Nation and that is a great way to take action against Pete Peterson and these deficit scaremongers.